Over the years, I have developed a range of Blender add-ons for deforming objects along surfaces, namely Conform Object, which projects objects onto larger surfaces, Flowify, which deforms objects to either rectangular or cylindrical surfaces, and Mesh Materializer, which deforms objects just like an image texture. Each work in slightly different ways for different scenarios and have different drawbacks. So which is best for you? This video is intended to give you a summary of each add-on and the pros and cons of each one. Email me on info at configurate.net if you have any questions. First up is Conform Object, by far the most popular surface deformation add-on I own and has been established for a number of years, originally conceived by Chip Walters of KitOps fame. This add-on takes an existing object and projects it onto other surfaces, a bit like the shrink wrap modifier but with added thickness. It is designed to be a one-click operation with a range of options for adding custom deformations using a hidden deformation grid as a guide. However, it does have its drawbacks. The add-on projects objects in a certain direction. It does not wrap objects around others. This makes it more ideal for projecting smaller objects onto larger surfaces and less useful when trying to get an object to wrap around the surface of another object. The add-on also needs to be rerun on the object if you need to change it. So, to combat these drawbacks, I created Flowify when Justin from CG Essentials approached me with the idea. This add-on allows you to do more sophisticated wrapping by using a target surface you create that comprises of flat four-sided faces. Then, using a reference grid as a guide, this gives you more control over the types of surfaces you can deform to, such as tires, or wavy surfaces. You could also wrap the target surface to another object if you wish using a conventional shrink wrap modifier. It can perform well on dense objects with lots of geometry and will update whenever you change your original object. It does not need to be run every time. The drawbacks are that there is a longer setup time. It is down to you to create the target surface you need to deform to, which needs to be either a rectangular surface or a cylinder both comprising of four-sided faces. For more information on these surfaces, check out the link to the documentation in the description. It can also be tricky to click on the right surfaces sometimes, so it is best to temporarily hide other objects whilst you are working. Finally, we come to Mesh Materializer, an add-on which has the adaptability of Flowify with the one-click nature of Conform Object. The add-on will deform an object to a surface as if it was an image texture using a UV map as a guide. Its one-click operation adds a copy of the object with an adjustable modifier where you can change settings at any time and if you change the original object, the copy will also update. The major drawback of this add-on is that it requires knowledge of creating a non-overlapping UV map for an object and will clip any geometry which is along UV borders or seams. The object can also look a little strange when first projected as it stretches the object across the UV space by default. You can then adjust settings in the modifier to scale and move the object along the surface to your liking. So that just about wraps it up as a basic summary for each add-on. For more information and how-to videos on each add-on, check out the videos and product pages linked in the description. I hope this video helps, but do reach out to me by emailing info at if you have any questions. Thanks for listening.